Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you, and today we have a special treat. I was given an exclusive sneak peek at the new remade version of Cash. Cash is a map originally made by Volcano, specifically for competitive play. It has historically had very ugly aesthetics and simplistic gameplay. The map is not as complicated as other competitive maps, and it strips away a lot of the features that competitive players aren't very fond of. And you can usually nullify positions using a single smoke grenade. Nevertheless, it does use the standard clover design pattern popularized by DE Dust 2, but it does feel a bit claustrophobic at times. It is, of course, a map that many people in the competitive community enjoy. This version of the map was done by FM Pone. You may remember him as the mapper of CS Museum, which is featured in the Operation Payback DLC. His maps usually have top-notch aesthetics, but those of course come at the price of performance and gameplay. Let's face it, his maps are some of the most beautiful I've ever seen. It's like walking through an art project. Plus, Museum had a dinosaur, and I like dinosaurs. As you can see by my walk-arounds in comparisons to the original remake for Go, this version of Cache is clearly Goified, which is a term I use to refer to maps that take advantage of the aesthetics possible with the new version of the engine. It also follows the design principles presented in Valve's official maps, which reminds me of the remade Mirage compared to the Mirage that is used in competitive play. For example, more complicated movement devices, such as the ladder and B, have been replaced with simpler movement devices, such as this spiffy ramp. This version of Cache feels like the handicap accessible version. The map is beautiful, working off of the original Cache. It's like, you know, putting makeup on a homely girl who works in the fields. It's a major undertaking. It's like Shaw's Pygmalion. The visuals are a success, and some of the reworkings of cover seem to really work. But once again, the biggest problem with this map is the performance. I wouldn't say it is too terribly unoptimized, but I believe before it goes live it will become more optimized. Um, the price of pretty is steep. In the original cache, running around, I got comfortable 150 FPS to 200 FPS at all times. In this map, my FPS usually sat around 100 sometimes going up to around 150 and sometimes going below to 80. I have a 144Hz monitor, so I need 144 frames per second to play comfortably. The only place where I was comfortable was Bombsite B, where, I mean, it had just enough FPS to survive, and then I'll change when it starts raining nades. Competitive players value functionality and performance over visuals. They strip out the flora and fauna in favor of freshness so I am hesitant to how this map will be received by the competitive community. However, its beauty is undeniable. Either way, I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.